Georgia brought up some really good points. And, you know, I, I know a lot of people will say that, uh, you know, hey, I, I, I wouldn't have thought of this or I didn't think about this, which is fine. I mean, that's human. We all we all have said that or done that at one point or another. But when you look at if you were to break down the primary problems that exist in the workplace today and identify the root cause of why those problems exist, let's take a quick look. If you look at engagement, employee engagement, why do we have employee engagement problems? Because there isn't a connection between the vision and the goals and the interests of the company with the employee. Now, that's a very high-level umbrella look at it, but if that connection isn't there, what does that mean? The root cause is there's a breakdown in communication. If you're having trouble retaining your employees, employee retention is as big a problem as ever. Why are you not able to keep your employees? Because you're not able to satisfy their needs. You're not able to engage them. Why aren't you? Because there isn't a clear, open channel line of communication where you truly understand their expectations and have given them the opportunity to articulate those expectations. When you look at sales, why do why does revenue stagnate or why does growth stop? Why does service and performance struggle? Always, always, always gets back to the root of communication. So when I think of processes... I think of first communication processes and those processes could be as simple as dealing with a client complaint, how to have that conversation on the phone. I mean, the big bucket that I refer to this at Mindset Go is called conversation intelligence. So these, these communication processes are all incorporating three aspects. This is how you know it's a good process. It has these three aspects. One, Conversation intelligence. What is conversation intelligence? It's every time you have a conversation with someone, keeping in top of mind what you're saying, how you're saying it, your listening skills, and your body language, right? So that's the elements of conversation intelligence to build into your process. Second is emotional intelligence, having some self awareness. That when you have these discussions and you, you have the multitude of conversations you're going to have every day, how do, how do the people you're speaking with perceive you? What is the pattern of behavior they have had with you? How do you perceive your knowledge and credibility going into these conversations? Uh, what is the person's knowledge and experience having these conversations? That's all self-awareness, right? Then you have the self-control. You know when you get in these conversations, many of these people you're conversing with, you know how they're going to react. You know their personality. You know what frustrates them. You know what motivates them. But that's part of emotional intelligence is recognizing those items when you're having those conversations. And the third is a behavioral intelligence. Understanding the different pieces of what it takes to influence, persuade, motivate, support, encourage. 